anything. Alice, I've got to talk to you right away. No, uh... No, I'm gonna hang up. Now listen to me first. I've got something very important to talk to you about. Please. Stephen, I told you that we had nothing to say to Alice, each other. Alice, please, please. You're not being fair to either of us. I meant it, Stephen. I mean, I really meant it. When I said that I would leave Bay City if you keep trying to see me. Is your mother here? No, uh, she's not. Oh, well, I, I guess I should have called. Uh, and ask her to give me a ring, okay? She's gone. Uh, away. She's gone away where? Oh, she's visiting a sick friend. Well, how long will she be gone? We, we don't really know. <laughs> Look, uh, uh, she called, though, uh, every night, so if it's important, I can have her call you back. No, no, that, that's okay. You can wait. What's the matter? Something wrong? No. Honey, you're awful upset. I mean, maybe I could help. Is it Steve? I'm sorry, really, I'm so sorry. Honey, come on, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry for somebody, for loving somebody. Hey, hey, listen, why don't I, uh, why don't I fix this a cup of tea? Uh, thanks, I'll, I'll be all right. Why is it so hard to stop loving someone? Well, if you really love him, why do you want to stop? I have to. Honey, do you want me to uh, stay here with you for a while? Uh, no, really, I, I will be all right. Well, I really want to see you happy. Oh, somehow, I really don't think that's going to happen. It will if you let it. You don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. I've been pretty unhappy myself sometimes. Well, all of us, I guess, have been, but you have to be ready when happiness comes to you. What do you mean? You shouldn't keep secrets from somebody you love. How do you know I'm doing that? Aren't you? Look, um, Gil is staying with Nancy till I get back. I better go home. Alice. Things will work out. If you let them. Okay. The night that you found me with Rachel, we were meeting to talk about Jamie. That's all. Stephen, uh, I heard what you and Rachel were talking about, and it had nothing to do with Jamie. What did you hear? That 
you were with her the day I lost my baby. Is that true? Yes, it is, but I can explain that, Alice. Stephen, why, uh... Why didn't you explain it all those weeks? Because, ago? because I was waiting for the right time, that's why. No. No, Stephen, I stood right outside your apartment door. I heard Rachel telling you that you shared many things besides Jamie. Alice, that's not true. She was wrong. nothing between Rachel and me. You never would have told me you were meeting her that night, would you? Alice, you, you didn't even give me a chance. Stephen, we promised we wouldn't keep things from each other. I never wanted to hide anything from you. Then why did you? Because I knew that you never really liked my seeing Jamie, that's why. I didn't, uh, mind your seeing Jamie. It was Rachel I didn't want you to see. Uh, all right, well, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, she wouldn't let me see Jamie unless I saw her, too. You never told me that. Well, I knew that. That's, I knew how you felt about her. Maybe I was wrong. But, Stephen, that, uh, that doesn't excuse your seeing her behind my back. Why didn't you just walk right in and, and fight for what you believed in? Oh, Stephen, when, when I heard you were with her the day I lost my baby, I, uh, I really didn't believe in anything anymore. But, Alice, you jumped to a lot of conclusions that weren't true. But if you hadn't always loved her, you wouldn't be married to her now. that you really know what love is. Love is giving, not taking from people. Now, do you, 
You don't really think I do that, do you? It doesn't matter what I think anymore. Well, it does to me. Stephen, well, why did you come here today? Because I wanted to look into your eyes, that's why. And I wanted to hear your voice. I wanted to tell you the truth about the night that you left me. Does Rachel know you're here? When she's away. Then you're, um, going behind her back the same way you went behind mine. Why do you see it then? I, um, I really don't think that we have any more to uh, say to each other. You don't really believe that, do you? Well, whatever we say isn't going to change anything, is it? We're divorced. You're married to Rachel now. We can change that if we want. say to me? I never wanted to see you again. Well, I can understand that. Now that I have, I... I don't know what to think. I want to know if you... I want to know if you still care for me. Because you're still married to Rachel. All right. If I weren't married to Rachel. Stephen, it's too late. You'll only hurt yourself and Jamie. Will you answer my question? Does it mean that much to you? It means more to me than anything in the world. my mind, but it didn't work. That's all I wanted to know. Elliot, um, Elliot has asked me to marry him when he divorces Iris. Are you going to? Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I can't go on like this. talking about this now, and there's no hope for us. Alice, look, promise me one thing, please. Hmm? Don't go away. Whatever you do, please just don't. Don't leave again. Hmm? Stephen, you're still married. Well, 
Now I, uh, I can free myself. Rachel will never let you go. She won't have any choice. What about Jamie? Let's just take it one step at a time. Look, now, uh, please just, just promise me that you won't leave until I, I, I can get this, I can, I, until I can work it out, all right? It, it may take a long time. I don't care how long it takes. Will you see me again? I don't think we should. Don't you want to see me again? I just don't, I don't think it would be wise for, for either of us. Please, just don't leave Bay City, okay? I won't. I'll stay and I'll wait for you. Go get Pat and, and, and you can go home. 